Hello, everyone, and good evening. Welcome. We are coming to you live from Managua, Nicaragua. My name is Phil Alexander, and I'm very pleased and excited to, to bring a very information-packed, filled uh, information session on uh, our Wyndham Resorts and Milagro de Mar joining forces in Nicaragua. And also, we have a very special guest with us that is going to address an issue uh, very important to a number of people, and that's use of a self-directed IRA. Uh, again, uh, I am joined by uh, Roger Keeling, CEO and Managing Partner of Milagro Del Mar, and uh, also Brian Davis, Director of Business Development for AccuPlan Benefits Services. And uh, Brian's an uh, acknowledged expert in uh, self-directed retirement accounts and very excited to hear a lot of the uh, insight and input that uh, he has to share with us. But uh, in the meantime, uh, first of all, let me welcome all of you on the call. Thank you very much for coming on time. We are going to try and uh, keep this to the allotted 60 minutes, uh, so we'll be moving along very quickly. But for any and all of you that uh, unfortunately either have to jump off or uh, more importantly want to be able to refer back to the uh, webinar and the the lots of information that we have to share with you. We will be sending out uh, a replay link as soon as we're able to turn that around. But in the meantime, if you look over on the right-hand side, you'll see your control panel. There's a little hand symbol. And uh, occasionally, we may reach out to you uh, during the course of this session and ask you uh, very uh, various questions. And, and in the interest of having this be uh, somewhat interactive, you can click on that hand signal, and uh, uh, that will indicate, uh, you know, assent or otherwise uh, to whatever we may put to all of you. Uh, if you want to just test that out, uh, if you see it on the right hand side, just click on that little hand symbol, and and we'll see uh, on our end. There you go. We see uh, uh, a couple of hands popping up. If you see it on the right, just click on the hand. And uh, very good. That's excellent. That's excellent. We're all doing well. There were a number of hands showing up already. Um, but uh, in any event, um, then you can click again on the hand signal, and it will disappear for you. Uh, there you go. And we see some hands uh, dropping off. Um, and also, too, in the lower right, you'll see there's a, uh, a chat box, or, and, and what I'd like to do is encourage you to put any and all questions that you might have in that chat box. We are, at the conclusion of the program, going to be addressing any and all questions to the best of our ability. And um, again, even if you need to drop off because of schedule during the call, we will address all questions in the, the question and answer period following the program, and you'll be able to uh, get answers to all your questions, either from the replay link or we will reach out to you directly. So with that, again, uh, welcome. And uh, we're very excited to, to present all of this information. Uh, and uh, with that, I would like to bring on Roger Keeling, who is the CEO and managing partner of Milagro Del Mar. And Roger, are you with us? Yes, I am. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us, and uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have all of you. It's a pleasure to uh, be talking to you from uh, Managua, Nicaragua, as Phil said. And as you see from the slide that's on the page, uh, Nicaragua is uh, right in the heart of Central America, almost directly below uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. And for those of you who are in the United States or in Canada, uh, Managua, Nicaragua is a simple two to three hour flight from uh, the major hub cities in, uh, in the United States, Miami two hours, and uh, Houston and Atlanta about three hours by airplane. Which is, uh, of course, a, a really important issue to a number of folks, uh, wh regardless of your situation in life. It, it is remarkably simple uh, to get to Nicaragua, which is, uh, after all, Central America's largest country with coasts both on the Caribbean as well as the, the Pacific. And where Roger and I are, are coming to you from in Managua is uh, uh, less than an hour from the Pacific coast. And you can see in the blow up there, uh, Milagro del Mar is highlighted 
uh, it's it's between 45 minutes and an hour from both the city and the international airport. Uh, we are the closest uh, resort project uh, on the coast from uh, Managua, which of course makes it that much more interesting for folks that just really don't enjoy two and a half hour car rides or otherwise to get where they're going once they get here. Um, and as we go through, you're going to hear a number of really interesting and positive things about the country uh, and about uh, the project. Uh, and then uh, Brian Davis is, is going to share a lot of really good information about uh, uh, self-directed retirement funds. But in the meantime, um, Roger, uh, recently Mario Salinas, the, the Minister of Tourism, uh, had some comments because a lot of folks have referred to Nicaragua as the next Costa Rica. But what's your opinion? Well, I won't even really say it's my opinion. It, it, on the slide you have Mario Salinas, who is the Minister of Tourism here, and it's, um, it's, it is his statement, but I agree with the opinion that uh, you know, Costa Rica is, a, is very well known amongst uh, North Americans and Canadians and, and many people throughout the world, Europeans as well. And Costa Rica has had great success for, in attracting retirees, tourists, uh, those people, snowbird, uh, snowbirders, if you want to call them that, people who, you know, live outside of uh, their own country for three, six months out of the year. Costa Rica has had great success, but I like what Mario says here in that, uh, you know, a lot of people have said Nicaragua is the next Costa Rica. But Nicaragua really, if you give it a chance, stands on its own, and that's uh, that's part of what we want to convey tonight, that uh, Nicaragua is a special place, and it's attracted a lot of us here to uh, to invest and uh, to eventually uh, retire uh, in a beautiful, beautiful place with great weather and great accessibility back to, uh, to North America. Well, I think also, too, one of the exciting things uh, about Nicaragua is uh, it really is Central America's premier emerging, mar emerging market. It's, it's on the uh, front edge of an expansion cycle. But, um, again, Roger, let's, let's tick off the, the items that a lot of folks aren't even aware of. It is a, it's a very safe, uh, democratic country despite uh, anything you might have heard or despite the lingering stories that remain about Nicaragua from 30 or 40 years ago, it is incredibly safe. I live here with my family. Uh, I've got a lot of friends who are uh, North Americans or expatriates, and they live here with their families. And we, we feel as safe or, or more secure than we did in major cities in the U.S. It's uh, a country that, that encourages foreign investment. This country really wants to grow, and this country knows that it needs uh, people like us and, and people like many of the, uh, of the folks on the phone tonight to come here and become part of this, this community, part of this country. Um, it's ranked the number one Central American country for investor development. Uh, that says a lot, right? Uh, our investor protection, that says a lot right there. That means laws are in place. To, uh, to protect people who come here and put their money here. And finally, uh, for those folks who are, have looked at Central America, looked at Latin America, Mexico, uh, one of the beauties here is you can hold uh, for fee simple title, very much like we have in North America. Uh, and title insurance is available for the properties, that, for most of the properties that are, are being sold here in Nicaragua. And that's something you, you need to be very careful about when you're looking at property in Central America, making sure that uh, that title insurance and, and is available and that the title for the property you're looking at is good and clean. And, and uh, we've had great success with, uh, with that particular subject here. And, of course, uh, that said, uh, just for everyone's edification, those who aren't aware, um, that is to say that, that Milagro del Mar does uh, offer every single piece of property um, that is uh, capable of, of taking title insurance due to the master policies that are uh, in existence. Is that correct? That's correct. All property that we offer within Milagro del Mar has a master title policy uh, already attached to it, and uh, it's, it's a nice, secure feeling for people who are interested in investing dollars here. 
Absolutely. You know, one of the exciting things about Nicaragua, too, is its record-setting growth. You know, in, in 2010, for the first time ever, visitors to Nicaragua topped one million, and it's been going up in double digits ever since. 14% increase in tourism uh, in 2012 alone. There's been a 17% increase in foreign direct investment, a 30% increase in exports, and a 4.5% increase percent increase in gross domestic product. Um, the, the, the cool thing is, for example, 14 million viewers a week during the 2010 and 2011 were catching Nicaragua via, uh, for those people that were watching, uh, Survivor that was being filmed. Not one, but two seasons uh, here in Nicaragua. It's been ranked um, actually for a number of years now in the top three travel destinations for 2012 and before by Travel Age West. And Lonely Planet, which I know a lot of people uh, put some stock in, have ranked it in the top five value destinations for 2012. You know, so when you look at the way this tourism traffic has increased um, over the years, it's just continuing to go up, spiraling. Uh, as I said, 14% increase in 2012, and the predictions are for continued double-digit growth. Where it'll stop, nobody knows, but for the time being, it's, it's nothing but positive news. The other side of the coin is that uh, there is a 5,000-room hotel room deficit projected uh, by the year 2014 into 15. Um, and what does that mean? I mean, Roger, I mean, do you want to put that into practical terms uh, for, for somebody that's <laughs> building a, uh, a hotel on the coast? Well, Phil, it's, it's one of the things that led us to, to make some of the decisions that we've made over the past couple of years about what we're doing here and, and uh, what we're trying to develop. And, um, I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. There is going to be, there already is, and it's going to increase uh, a, a hotel room deficit here. So uh, the fact that, uh, you know, folks probably realize that we're, we're talking about uh, developing a hotel here, and it, the numbers that you're presenting there just add more, um, it, it creates you know, confidence for us that what we're doing, what we're, we're, we're heading into this hotel uh, phase of our development, it means that we're going to be successful with this hotel. And right, and which I think obviously is going to speak to future demand. Any investors, you know, can better rely upon the likelihood of, of uh, investment return and so on, which, you know, obviously anybody has to be on some level concerned with. And you, we see on the screen here a beautiful shot. We were just there uh, actually with some, some friends uh, yesterday in Granada, one of the oldest colonial cities in America dating from 1524. Um, but... You know, here's something, uh, Roger, that, that, you know, I think you can tell people, but they have a really hard time wrapping their brain around is the incredibly reasonable cost of living uh, in Nicaragua. Um, I mean, are these prices for real? I think if you, if you just kind of read quickly down through the bullet points there, uh, you'll see that what we as North Americans are used to uh, is it's a complete it's completely different here and it's it's the fact that we're you know we're we're developing the, uh, some of the numbers you put up earlier prove that you know it, it's a country on the rise but uh, it's a perfect time to to take advantage of the fact that it is still growing it's still developing so these prices are real and uh, it's you know it's refreshing well, we take advantage of a lot of and, things we do here for such a low cost. And you just said something which I think also should resonate, and that is you, you made reference to essentially foreign real estate investors. You know, I think this is um, has to be encouraging to anybody that's thinking about, I don't know, moving assets offshore, looking forward to retirement. Maybe they want a vacation home. Um, but everybody has on some level a, a degree of concern that their rights aren't going to be in any way protected. But that's not the case here, is it? 
No, it's uh, just like we talked about earlier. This country uh, is it's dead set on developing and taking the next step. And what they've done is uh, they've created some great laws for retirees, and they have created some uh, great laws to protect people who invest here. And, and investing in property uh, is is one of the main areas that, that they're looking for, for people to come in and put dollars in real estate. And they have created laws that protect those people. Like we talked about freehold, uh, uh, you know, foreigners can hold property here and be protected. Foreigners can own be beachfront property. There's no limitation in, like in some other uh, Latin American countries where you can't own X amount of, of, uh, of area back from the beach. It has to be uh, a part of a concession. Uh, that, uh, that doesn't happen here. And there's no discrimination. Um, if you are a legitimate individual, uh, you have the right to own property here. That's great stuff, uh, and you know, I mean, it's something that I think is is also um, let's let's talk about retirement uh, a little bit because, hey, everybody on some level is 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 looking forward um, either, you know, uh, twenty years out, ten years out, five years out, or are already there. Um, and uh, U.S. News and World Report ranked uh, Nicaragua number one as the affordable international retirement haven for 2011. Uh, they haven't come out with their list for 2012 yet, but I have little doubt that uh, Nicaragua will be part of the, the mix. And AARP ranked uh, Nicaragua in the top five international retirement destinations. And, you know, I mean, some of the, um, I think, interesting um, things to consider is that under the current government, a number of very beneficial laws have come into place, uh, including the Nicaraguan Law 694, which is uh, incentive for retirees. Um, and uh, I mean, you know, without necessarily, I don't know if this, you know, these three bullet points are clear. I think, um, wouldn't you say it's fair to say that? These are amongst the most advantageous and interesting retirement laws in all of Central America. They are. They're they're incredible. This is what I alluded to a moment ago about laws for retirees, and and uh, they're incredibly generous. They're uh, they're aggressive. They're uh, you know in an attempt to attract retirees here because as I said, this country does want to move forward, and and it's it's taking great strides. It's a great time to be looking at um, you know putting a foothold here. To uh, to get prepared for your future, and that's that's really the reason I ended up here. And I'll talk a little bit about that more uh, as we go through the presentation tonight. But um, uh, you know, for me personally, this is this is where I plan to retire. And, that um, I plan to retire at Milagro del Mar. That's that's pretty special stuff, and I I appreciate it. Thank you, Roger. And and now I'd like to uh, shift uh, gears just a little bit and uh, introduce again uh, Brian Davis to you. Brian, are you there? I am, and uh, thank you so much. It's a lot of great information, Roger and Phil, and I appreciate you guys for having me. And hopefully, some of my guests are enjoying everything that you're telling them as much as I am. Um, my name is Brian Davis. I work for a company called AccuPlan. We specialize in helping people direct their retirement accounts to invest in things like real estate and foreign real estate. Now, what we are is we're not financial advisors. We are third-party administrators that help people that want to take control of their retirement account, invest in what they know best. So if they see a great investment idea in Nicaragua, for instance, that, like we're talking about tonight, that you can take your retirement account and invest those dollars in Nicaraguan real estate. So again, like I said, we help people do the administration. We are a custodian and third-party administrator that help you set up your retirement plans and invest in these alternative investments. So a lot of people just don't know all that they can do with their retirement account. So maybe you've talked to your CPA or your financial planner and they haven't told you that, hey, I didn't know I could invest in foreign real estate with my IRA or real estate in my IRA. The truth of the matter is that when the retirement account system was written in the ERISA plan in 1974 and implemented in 1975, the people that were on the forefront of the industry were was Wall Street. And they specialized in trading securities, stocks, 
funds, mutual funds, and they have a really great business model where it really empowers them to keep you in a security. It's very easy to do the record keeping, but the truth is there's a wide array of different types of investments that you can invest in with your retirement plan. At the end of 2010, there was $4.7 trillion in IRA assets. Now, that's just IRAs. That's not even including pension funds and 401ks. 98% of that is in the stock market. Now, I don't know about you. I'm a real estate guy. It seems to be a pretty heavy amount to be invested in the stock market. So for those folks that might want to diversify a little bit into a hard asset, or as I always say, invest in what you know best or in what you're learning learning about, or just like we're learning about Nicaragua tonight, wouldn't it make sense to maybe take a portion of your retirement funds and invest there? Now this 2% number is growing. Um, I don't know how much everybody followed the presidential race last year, but uh, former Governor Mitt Romney has a $100 million self-directed IRA that's been invested in an offshore entity. Um, but like I said, this is what we're seeing in our field, people investing in real estate, investing in private businesses, whether it be a private fund or any other private business that's looking to raise capital. They're using their money as a note. So you can loan your money out. You can be the bank or you can invest in notes as well. And maybe a lot of you see, you know, invest in gold with your IRA. Um, we also do that too. But I'm mostly focused on real estate. That's one of my passions and seems to be a you know, a majority of my clients' passion. But like I said, you can invest in almost anything with your IRA and trustees, tax liens, condos in Latin America, Nicaragua. What's funny is I had this slide before tonight, even had Nicaragua and Costa Rica listed on there and me and Phil were talking about that before. But water rights, gold and silver, private placements, the list can go on and on. There has never been a list of what you can invest in your IRA, but according to publication 590 by the IRS, there's only two things your IRA is not allowed to invest in, and that is life insurance contracts and what they deem as a collectible. And as you see here, that's a work of art, a rug collection, metals or gems, and there's even some exceptions in the precious metal field with certain American Eagle coins. The one thing you want to make sure of though, is that your IRA doesn't get involved in what's called a prohibited transaction. And, and again, to reiterate Phil from earlier, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat box, and I'll ask them at the appropriate time. But besides the antiques and the, you know, collection, oops, going back one, need to go forward. You want to make sure your IRA doesn't get involved in this with a disqualified person. And a disqualified person makes it so your IRA gets involved in a prohibited transaction. And you can look this up in Internal Revenue Code 4975 if anybody wants to do some really uh, light reading that will put you right to bed. But who, basically there's no self-dealing in your IRA. And besides yourself, so you can't have any personal benefit from your IRA's investment. Besides yourself, you want to think about this in a straight line up and down. Your spouse your parents, your grandparents, your kids and their spouses, your grandkids and their spouses. So those folks can't have any personal benefit from your IRA, as well as anybody providing services to your IRA um, or a corporation that you own. So let's say you buy a property and you want to have your son's um, painting company paint it, and you have your IRA pay for that. That would be considered a, a prohibited transaction because your son is a disqualified person from your IRA, even if it's his company. So I have a little game here, and we'll see how well this goes because you really don't want to mess around because if your IRA does get involved in one of these prohibited transactions, the IRS can disqualify your whole IRA, and nobody wants that to come and take place. So everybody probably remembers the game Deal or No Deal. So let's play a little game here. Everybody just follow along, and I'll answer the questions as best I can. So can your IRA lend yourself $10,000, deal or no deal? That's no deal. You're a disqualified person from your IRA. You can't lend yourself money. What about your brother? Could I potentially lend my brother $10,000, deal or no deal? The answer to that one is deal. 
He doesn't fall in that straight path of up and down. He's on your side. So you can potentially lend your brother $10,000. What about your stepson? Could your IRA lend your stepson $10,000? Deal or no deal? This one's a little trickier, but it's deal. Um, your stepson is not blood related. If it was your son, this would be no deal. But since it's your stepson, the IRS allows that. I don't make these rules, folks. I'm just trying to help you interpret them. And I'll get a little tricky on you here again. Can your IRA lend your daughter-in-law $10,000? Deal or no deal? That one is no deal. Your children and their spouses. So again, it gets a little tricky. And that's where myself and my company can help answer any questions about what you can and can't do with your IRA and who can benefit from it there. So in, in this situation, you're really looking about an investment opportunity, whereas you see Nicaragua could be a great investment opportunity right now. Now, how do you put money into your self-directed IRA? As we call it, putting gas in the tank. Well, if you have an existing IRA, we can do a trustee to trustee transfer. So if we have traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, SEP IRAs, and individual case, so we allow you to invest in all these things that are allowable under IRS guidelines and not just limit you to stocks and bonds and mutual funds. If you have a 401k plan or a 403b or 457 or some type of pension plan, you'd want to do a direct rollover. So you direct them to put the money straight into the plan with us. And you can also make a contribution. And for there's still time to make contributions for 2012. You can contribute up to $5,000 a year for a traditional Roth IRA. Now those numbers are going up 500 additional dollars in 2013. And if you're over the age of 50, you can also throw in an extra thousand there. If you're self-employed, maybe you have a self-employed pension, a SEP IRA where you can contribute a little bit more. It works very similar to traditional IRA, but you can contribute more being a self-employed person. A simple IRA is another um, self, small business plan where people can contribute and their employer can match. And then there's an individual K, which I'll talk a little bit more about briefly, which is uh, basically a 401k plan for a self-employed person with no employees. The government allows you to create your own 401k plan. And there's some real big benefits to being able to do that as opposed to with an IRA because 401ks are a little bit different and a little bit more lenient than the IRA. And I'll go into that in a minute, but I do want to talk about one of my more frequently asked questions of what's the Roth IRA all about? My IRA is a traditional, so how, how, does, how does it differ? Well, a traditional IRA, when you put the funds in, it's either coming in pre-tax, meaning you haven't paid taxes on it, or you're making an annual contribution. So it's growing tax deferred. When you take pre-tax dollars and you, and you put them into an IRA like this, when you take them out at retirement age, you're going to have to pay taxes on that as earned income at that time. So that's what's called tax deferred growth. With the Roth IRA, you're putting the funds into the plan after you've already paid taxes on it. Then it's going to grow tax free. So it gives you a lot of extra income upon retirement if you're able to grow a Roth up. Now, it's a little bit harder since the Roth IRA hasn't been around. Most people just have these you know, pre-tax retirement plans, but we're starting to see more people with these Roth 401ks and Roth IRAs, but they, they made a rule in 2010 that anybody, regardless of income, can convert any of their pre-tax IRAs, whether it be a traditional IRA or a SEP IRA, and you can convert that to a Roth. Now, you will have to pay taxes on those dollars when you convert them, but if you're growing into an investment where you think there's going to be explosive growth, it might be something to look at to convert your funds over into a Roth IRA to get those benefits. So if anybody has any questions on this, please feel free to contact me offline or ask some questions now. Again, um, we do have also the self-directed 401k. It works very similarly to an IRA, but you Basically, you get your own 401k plan, whether you're incorporated or you're just a sole proprietor. You then can go invest directly into an investment because it's what's called a self-trustee plan. You are the trustee or custodian of the plan, unlike the IRA where you have to have a, a company behind you. Now, a lot of people will create a separate entity just for ease of investment, but it's not something that you need to have here, and that's what uh, this graphic shows. So. It works pretty simply if you create, if you have a corporation or you create a new one, 
create the 401k plan. You can roll over all your traditional IRA funds into it and then start directing your investment from there. So again, you can buy real estate, buy any type of you know, non-publicly traded asset just like we talked about earlier, and that's you know, a big investment there. With the IRA, we make it very simple to open up the account. You then fund the account and then direct the investment. So instead of buying IBM stock or a mutual fund, you could own this property in Milagro Del Mar, and that, has to, that could be your asset in your IRA. And very similarly with the IRA and the 401k, you can invest in these alternative investments there. So if you don't have the questions now, make sure to take down my information here. Um, Brian Davis at AccuPlan.net um, is my email address, or call me at 619-892-2438, and my, my uh, web address is there too. And Phil, uh, I'll turn it back <coughs> over to you. Brian, thank you so much. That 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 is really really interesting stuff, and and <clears throat> maybe some of the people uh, uh, that are with us this evening uh, already are aware of some of this stuff. But I, for one, uh, always think I, I I pick up something new every time I I speak with you and and learn more details about what I can and can't do with my own darn money. It's 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 kind of refreshing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. I I very much appreciate. Uh, and uh, so anyway, um, here we are back again uh, in the lovely colonial city of, uh, of uh, Granada and uh, uh, beautiful architecture, lots of colors, uh, and the constant sunlight in Nicaragua, of course, uh, makes it uh, uh, that much more uh, enjoyable to uh, see and experience. And, and on the screen now is, is also, uh, again, one of my favorite places in Nicaragua. This is uh, a crater lake uh, called Laguna do Pollo, and uh, it, it really is a breathtaking uh, view. In fact, one of my favorite spots to catch the view is from a, a very quaint little town called Catarina. Uh, and uh, again, just happened to be there yesterday. It was it was really really lovely, and and in fact, unusually, some very nice cool breezes, which were a nice respite from the 91 degree temperatures that uh, we were experiencing. But um, with that, uh, Roger, I would love if you could come back on and and join us because we're about to get into some really exciting stuff now uh, that that we've all been waiting for for quite some time. Uh, are you there, Roger? I am, Phil. Thanks. Super. Uh, I mean, Roger, you've got quite a story. I, I, you know, we've got so much to go through that um, I, I really don't want to get too caught up in it. But I mean, I think it's such a compelling story that you moved your family from a comfortable and successful life and lifestyle in Atlanta, Georgia, to Nicaragua in 2007. You launched Milagro del Mar Beach and Golf Resort, but. If you could just, uh, you know, essentially carry us through that process and tell us what the heck were you thinking? <laughs> it's it's pretty easy to sum up, especially after uh, Brian's presentation. I was I was simply that guy who was thinking about ways to invest for retirement, and uh, we we originally started looking at coast looking at Costa Rica, and. Uh, for various reasons, found ourselves in Nicaragua, and never believing that we would ever invest a dollar in this uh, in this country. But uh, once we got here, we realized what a great opportunity that had been laid in front of us, and uh, we ended up uh, not only investing retirement dollars here, but seeing the you know the potential to come here and, and really do some great things and. We've we've now dedicated our our business lives to uh, to trying trying to uh, take that next step along with this this beautiful country and the people here. Um, as you said, we 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 jumped into this. We uh, started planning this project here at Milagro del Mar, and now you see in front of you what is uh, the master plan for. Uh, for going forward over the next 10 or 15 years here at this this piece of property that is only an hour from the, the airport in the in the capital city and it's on a beautiful stretch of beach uh, various various projects within the project resorts within the resort but specifically um, we have 
we've landed on this little eight acre piece of property that we're we where we are constructing a Wyndham hotel and resort that uh, is uh, now in construction and developing its way to to becoming a, a real centerpiece and focal point for tourism uh, activity in Nicaragua and a, a great place for for people to look at uh, spending vacation time and investing retirement dollars you know Roger um, I, I know that the vast majority of people probably have heard of Wyndham uh, or one of their many brands but uh, for those that don't Maybe you can share just a wee tidbit about who and what Wyndham is. I can, I can sum it up very quickly. Wyndham is the world's largest hotel company, over 7,000 hotels, 66 countries, uh, 15 brands, and growing as we speak. Um, you know, the, the newest hotel in the Wyndham collection is the Wyndham Milagro del Mar Resort. And... Uh, we have, uh, we have planned this hotel in three phases. It starts out as a Wyndham Hotel and Resort. It, when it's complete, uh, around the end of 2015, it will become part of the Wyndham Grand Collection, which is really exciting to us. That is the ultimate level of the Wyndham program, and uh, we are thrilled to have been selected to be a Wyndham Grand. That's, that is exciting stuff. But, you know, I mean, I think just in case there's anyone that, that uh, is in our audience this evening, um, to me anyway, one of the most significant realities is this is not just, you know, stuff that, that we're asking folks to have a, a dream about or extreme vision. Uh, there is a functioning resort uh, here, there today, is there not? There absolutely is. Uh, it's it's still early in the beginning, but uh, we have nine holes of golf open. We have stables open for horseback riding. Uh, we have uh, some of the best surfing in in all of Central America right here on our property. Uh, surfing Magazine has ranked one of our waves as uh, I believe it's the 63rd best wave in the world. We have another great. Uh, beach break, which is good for uh, beginners, intermediates, all the way up to the uh, professionals. Uh, surfing is excellent. Golf is here. Horseback riding is here. Some of the tours and, and other, uh, well, fishing, as you've got up there on the screen now, tours to some of those colonial cities, going to see volcanoes, helping out with our foundations in, uh, in the local community. There is something here for everyone, and uh, we just... All we ask is that people get on an airplane, come here, give it a chance, see what we've got, because once you're here, uh, you're hooked, and yeah. uh, that's what happened to me. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pausing on this particular uh, shot on the screen because I, I – like to think and suggest, and I might even be able to get away with it in low light, that that was actually me on that surfboard, but not so, um, but that is uh, Hemi's, the uh, the 63rd uh, uh, surf break out of the top 100 in the world directly in front of the property. It's it's really exciting stuff, but in, additionally, uh, there are oceanfront condominiums uh, that you can stay in today and rent out, um, and right next to uh, our very own Tosca Restaurante, uh, and uh, that's Tosca, and that's that's you know some of the best food coming down the pike. I think it's uh, when you combine the food and the uh, the view. And the fact that you're uh, you're sitting in paradise, relaxing and enjoying a beverage or a, or a, a, a fresh piece of fish straight out of that ocean right there in front of you, it, it, it's a combination that uh, it's difficult to beat. I uh, I couldn't agree with you more. And you know, there's 3.5 miles total of um, of beachfront uh, between uh, the master project and Milagro del Mar, and uh, this is just one stretch of it uh and uh you know one of my favorite things though uh and i think of a lot of people is you know depending on time of year between 5 30 and 6 is to almost like you're in key west at mallory square is is grabbing a beverage uh, and uh enjoying the sunset it, it really is a special time of the day um, but, you know, okay, we've talked about uh, Wyndham and, uh, in an alliance with Milagro del Mar. We've talked about 
uh, future planning and program. We've talked about the, the resort that exists there today. You can come and enjoy. You don't have to, you know, kind of visit for 10 minutes and leave so you can get back to, to the city. Um, but the bottom line is uh, you made brief reference to the fact that the project's under construction already, correct? That is correct. We, um, well, you see a photo right there from uh, mid-January. The, the Wyndham Hotel, the Wyndham Milagro del Mar Resort is under construction, planned to open in 2014. And, um, you know, I can't say enough about the fact that uh, a project on the move, uh, uh, the, poss the opportunity to enter early, be part of this project going forward is uh, is really exciting for um, it's ex exciting for us to be doing it uh, for us to be executing it and I hope that uh, some of the folks on the line tonight find it exciting um, as an opportunity to maybe own a condo in a Wyndham resort and uh, be able to utilize that condo for their own personal use and potentially uh, you know pick up some retirement income off of uh, the project when it's uh, when they're not using it because when you have the world's number one hotel company managing your condo I think there's a lot of synergy there and we right. hope that uh, hope that people pick up on that tonight couldn't agree with you more but with that if you don't mind let's jump right in um, I'd like to share uh, and I am going to go at a rather fast pace Again, I want to reinforce for everyone on uh, on the call, we are going to be sending out a replay link. There are download links uh, available, which we will share uh, for uh, property packets with full building plans, floor plans, pricing, inventory, details, uh, and so on. Um, so don't feel you have to scribble a whole bunch of stuff down unless you're so inclined, but I am going to go at a rapid pace. In the interest of time, because again, I really want to respect, uh, be respectful of everybody's time this evening, and keep it to just one hour. So, Roger talked about the the main building uh, that you see there in front of you, currently under construction. It's 42 uh, condominiums, uh, over five floors. Uh, the first floor, uh, as you can see in the upper left, has uh, an open air two story lobby. Uh, and uh, a restaurant and spa and and, and so on. Um, and uh, at that point, and from that point, in very dramatic fashion, there'll be a multi-tier resort pool stretching from that main building down approximately the 100, 150 yards to the beach. And Phase two, I'm just going to touch on that really quickly, although we're not really talking in specific about phase two, but just to give everyone an overall idea of the entire plan, will be uh, a, a series of villas and casitas that uh, line either side of this dramatic uh, resort pool, um, a total of 42 units. Finally, phase three, as Roger mentioned earlier, after which... <clears throat> Uh, this project will be upgraded from a Wyndham Resort to a Wyndham Grand. Uh, is uh, will be two uh, buildings at a slight angle, either end of the main condo building that's currently under construction. With it's it's planned right now for a total of 128 deluxe hotel suites. But let's come back to uh, the main building. That's what we're here to talk about this evening. That's what's under construction. 42 units, two and three bedroom condominiums, very generously proportioned. The two bedroom units are 1,466 square feet. The three bedroom units are a sumptuous 2,553 square feet. Uh, they're, they're very well proportioned. Some will have golf and volcano views. Others will have ocean views. Uh, and uh, as such, here quickly, you know, again, I encourage you to look at the the replay link or download our property packet after the fact. Here are the, the two floor plans for the two and the three bedrooms. The two bedroom is a two bath, the three bedroom a two and a half bath. And this is bottom line what we're looking at. Now, I'll do the math for you. We have 12 units remaining available. 
uh, for whole ownership in this building out of 42 total units. We are just now, in fact, the official, very public announcement of our alliance with Wyndham, which is really going to open the floodgates, happens. You are getting advance notice, everyone. This happens a week from tomorrow night on the 21st of February. So there are 12 units here. That basically gives you a week. Uh, if you have any interest on any level, I strongly encourage you. This is all I'm going to suggest, and, and as far as I'm going to go for the moment, I strongly suggest that you reach out to us and contact us. You can do so at info at milagrodelmar.com um, or those of you who either know me or if you don't, my email is phil, P-H-I-L, at milagrodelmar.com. And we're happy to answer any and all questions and to discuss interest in possibly making a reservation. But you can see the they are quickly dwindling, quickly, quickly, quickly. And... Here is something, Roger, that, that uh, again, uh, is, is brand, brand new. Uh, not many people at all know about this. I think this is an incredible program because it basically puts within reach to so many more people than otherwise might be able to consider uh, accessing a magnificently proportioned three-bedroom uh, golf view uh, Wyndham Condominium, 2,553 square feet. We have taken four uh, residences and made them part of our uh, inaugural fractional ownership program. Now, very quickly, um, let me explain that we're offering one twelfth ownership shares, and that amounts to 28 days ownership or usage for each share. This is not, I, I must, I hasten to announce loud and clear, this is not timeshare. Timeshare is not part of this project or property. This is true fractional ownership. Uh, the annual fee, i.e. the fee for 28 days usage is $450, which includes not only the uh, uh, you know maintenance and upkeep and security and so on, um, and there's an additional $50 per share for the annual real estate taxes. So a total of $500 month uh, for that one month's uh, ownership share. Uh, however. The interesting thing is, uh, many of you may know, we have our own on-site concierge and property management company at uh, Milagro del Mar called La Vida Nica. And uh, on behalf of Wyndham, La Vida Nica will uh, offer you the ability, if you're a fractional owner, to reach out in advance of your, your uh, usage time on the property and make arrangements for transportation either from the airport or for a rental car uh, while you're in residence. Um, arrange tours or even, I think, the very cool, having your, your food and beverage already stocked in your residence for your arrival. Uh, and we're going to allow uh, bookings. It's first come, first served, four owners, six months in advance. Um, there are not going to be any requirements that you have to use some of your time one part of the year or some time in another part of the year. That's the reason that we decided to take four uh, large residences and make them part of this program to increase the flexibility and uh, the load factors, as they're called, uh, in owner's usage. Um, it is possible on a space available basis that uh, owners, fractional owners, can um, take additional nights beyond the usage. It will be at preferred rates uh, on a space available basis. And finally, uh, another element that will uh, greatly aid in the flexible usage and, and will maximize availability uh, for all fractional owners, only 40 of the available 48 shares uh, are going to be 
uh, sold. And that better ensures that uh, the likelihood you can come when you want, how you want, uh, will be available. You're not obliged to use all 28 days uh, consecutively. I mean, theoretically, on a space available basis, you could use three days a, a, a week for uh, nine weeks. You, you can do it in any configuration you want. Um, what's the price? The price is very straightforward, very simple. $60,000 for that one twelfth share. And the payment terms are very, very convenient. 25000 at confirmation, 25000 upon completion of the roof, which is currently anticipated to be sometime in August of 2013. And the fin final 10000 is due when the certificate of occupancy has been issued and the building is available. Uh, so again, very interesting program. You're not buying a timeshare unit. Uh, you are buying a share in real estate. And uh, uh, I believe, as far as I'm aware, um, that, uh, uh, Brian, um, maybe I can bring you back on real quick here, and you can comment on some of this product that we've put out there. If, if you could just give us a quick five minutes or so and, and let us know uh, how do we look. I mean, is this something that, that uh, you know, people can use their self-directed uh, retirement accounts for? Most definitely. So if you see the, uh, you know, the advantages here and you want to take control of your retirement funds and use this in your retirement account, you most definitely can do this. Um, and I'll kind of show a little case study that uh, has some similar numbers here. Um, I picked $400,000 just to make this uh, case study example because it's kind of in the middle of a lot of those prices of the available units left. So in this situation, um, John's looking uh, this is a long-term investment, thinking Nicaragua is uh, an emerging market. It's where he wants to go. So he brings over $400,000 to his IRA to invest over here. He makes the offer in the name of his IRA. He directs us to send any type of escrow deposit, directs us on a direction of investment form to purchase the place, reads and approves all documents, and the grant deeds recorded in the name of the IRA. So the the deed will look like this, American Estate and Trust, which is the name of our trust company, our custodian, for benefit of John Wood's IRA. And that's where our main headquarters is in, in Las Vegas, Nevada. So in this situation, he's renting the property out, and he gets to use, they get to use Wyndham in this case. But I don't know how these numbers compare to uh, you know, what type of rental income they would receive. But in this instance, they use $1,800 a month. Tax deferred in this case because it was in a SEP IRA. It would be tax free if it was in a Roth IRA. And then in a couple of years, he, you know, the prices are going up, and he sees that that's why he invested in this. So uh, he sells it for six hundred thousand dollars. I missed one line there. Uh, he reads and approves all documents, and everything goes back to the IRA. So let's look at the final numbers here. He initially invested the four hundred thousand dollars. He's getting $1,800 a month for two years at $43,200, and then he got $200,000 in the gain from the sale. All of this is tax deferred. He's not paying any type of capital gains on it. So he's got $643,200, over a 60% return in two years. Pretty good. And <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to I'll let Phil and <laughs> tell you if those numbers, you know, if they feel those are conservative, those are you know, maybe a little aggressive there, but um, just something, a, a way you can do this with your retirement account. If you, you know, maybe you're wanting to invest this yourself, oh, you can also do this with your retirement account. So it, it's just a, a great opportunity and it's a great use of funds to be able to do this with, uh, with your retirement account. And should, maybe you want to live there or maybe you know somebody that wants to do this and they'll, you could lend in the money with your IRA and get a return. So let's say, you knew somebody that just, they wanted, maybe they just wanted to do the uh, fractional ownership deal of $60,000. Well, maybe you could loan them $60,000 from your IRA and get a, you know, 8, 10% return from them in order to help uh, pay for that. So Absolutely. there's a lot of things you can do here. Um, you know, we're just highlighting some of the, the main ones that we're seeing, but it's a great opportunity and, you know, I'm excited. I want to go check out my Lago del Mar, my earliest convenience.
Well, that's that's super. Thank you, Brian. And uh, we'll uh, rally back with you uh, in just a little bit. Um, for anyone that did not happen to make note of Brian's contact information, not to worry. Uh, we will get there very shortly. But we're coming up on the, the top of the hour. We've got a couple of things that I want to share with you real quick that are, I think, very, very important to uh, to, to be aware of. Um, uh, here, again, of course, is uh, the Wyndham Milagro Del Mar Resort. The main building in the middle at the top of that rendering is the one that's currently under construction. You see the villas and casitas on either side of the dramatic uh, three-story uh, or three-tier uh, pool and um, the two buildings of deluxe hotel suites uh, that will follow. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, it is the 13th of February, and uh, very often we, you know, try to encourage folks to, to uh, look into this deeper um, uh, as quickly as possible. I think it's fair to say that in very short order, the demand is going to quickly swallow up those remaining 12 out of the total 42 uh, condominium residences. But all the same, we've come up with uh, a handful of um, uh, issues or bonuses, incentives, if you will, um, that might make taking the next step that much more interesting for you. First off, uh, first bonus is a 10% discount on the special release prices that we shared with you earlier. Again, don't worry. I'm not even going to bother to go back to that particular slide. The bottom line is uh, if this seems of any interest to you, I strongly encourage you, and I'll show you the link shortly, to download the property packet. It has all the information as well as the opportunity to download a reservation form. You would have, of course, your first choice uh, as long as you uh, moved sooner than later in uh, those condominium residences. Um, another bonus uh, for golfers out there, um, if you're buying one of the whole ownership, one of the 12 remaining condominium residences, you receive one lifetime golf membership with your uh, residence. If you're a fractional uh, ownership buyer. Um, there will be a corporate golf membership that covers and affords you the same benefits of membership during your 28 days per share uh, ownership period at the Country Club of Milagro Del Mar. Again, currently nine holes open and playable, uh, including that beautiful signature fourth hole that you saw the aerial view of earlier. Uh, and um, the second nine is uh, already shaped and uh, predicted to be opening um, uh, to coincide approximately about the time that the hotel opens um, somewhere around uh, early to mid-2014. Uh, third bonus, how often have you seen this? You've heard of pre-construction purchases, you've heard of purchasing during construction, but the biggest issue for a lot of people is, you know, I put this money out there, and what do I have, what do I, what can I use while it's being built? Well, we've thought of that, we've taken care of that. Uh, you will receive, for whole ownership buyers, 10 complimentary nights in a two-bedroom condominium at the oceanfront Las Perlas condominiums which are on property per 12 months, so it's prorated. If it takes a little longer than 12 months, you'll get additional nights um, until your unit is delivered, keys in your hand, and you can enjoy your residence. For fractional owners, a remarkable five complimentary nights stay at the Oceanfront Las Perlas condos per 12 months until the certificate of occupancy is issued and the property is ready to be utilized. Um, so that's that's a big. And finally, uh, you know, it's the easiest way to put it is an all expense paid trip. Essentially, what this means is uh, that uh, we will, upon confirmation of either your whole ownership or fractional ownership uh, uh, acquisition, that we will reimburse you against receipts up to. 
$1,500 toward your travel expenses. Uh, whatever those may have been, just give us the receipts and we'll reimburse you the funds. Um, now, here's something really cool. A lot of people and those uh, and, and that I've some of which I've seen on the call have um, been able to take advantage of, of these um, destination tours in the past. Um, for those of you who hadn't, it, haven't, uh, it is probably um, one of the most um, enriching experiences and ways of getting to know a country, seeing a project, enjoying it, experiencing it. Um, and doing so for a remarkably low subsidized um, cost. Uh, our next destination tour is March 13th to 17th, 2013, uh, and we're so confident that you're really going to enjoy yourself that we do subsidize it greatly. Um, the pricing is very simply $5.99 for a single or $4.99 per person for double occupancy. Uh, that's it represents a two hundred dollar discount off of regular pricing for uh, folks that are uh, on our call this evening it includes everything except airfare it includes your hotel it includes your transportation all your meals all your beverages while in Nicaragua all activities um, and you know loads of activities uh, as I said, airfare is not included, but it does include VIP arrival at the airport. You don't have to stand in lines for immigration or a baggage claim. It's all taken care of for you. Uh, and yet, here's one other benefit for anyone who reserves a condominium residence or fractional ownership share and places the fully refundable $5,000 deposit, you can attend this tour or an alternative five-day, four-night trip of your own choosing uh, with within a reasonable period of time on a complimentary basis. So I can't think of uh, really too many opportunities better than that. And again, I'm sorry because of time. I, I don't want to run over here, so I'm just going to quickly go through uh, and let you glance at some of these things. But here's the program from Wednesday, the arrival day. Uh, and through the day on Thursday, um, just in case you think you're missing something, there are no, you know, we insist that you take 90 minutes and let us, you know, just uh, throw uh, stuff at you and twist your arm. That's not what we're all about. As I said, this is not a timeshare sale. Um, and Friday, we do offer an information session, but we bring in experts on you know, uh, life in Nicaragua and the legalities and, and ownership, what it takes to, uh, to actually um, uh, purchase and, and live uh, in Nicaragua. And then, you know, for those who are departing on Sunday, um, you know, we uh, uh, are sorry to see you go, but um, the other side of the coin is for most of you, uh, we know we're going to see you back. Um, so here is a link here. You can make note of it if you'd like, um, or you can go on our website um, and and even on the home page, look on the right hand side, and uh, click on the link for uh, one of our uh, destination tours, and then um, you'll get all the information by following those links. We hope that uh, at the very least, even if you're not interested in. Um, making a taking the step to reserve a piece of property now, but you have interest enough to come down to Nicaragua and check it out. There is no better way to do so than to join us on one of our uh, destination tours. And again, those dates, uh, as I said, are uh, March uh, 13th to 17th. Um, and I encourage you, please come join us. You'll have a great time. You'll enjoy a lot of wonderful amenities or not, if all you want to do is relax by the pool. Uh, and uh, it really is a nice time. We also do go on a uh, on a, a custom tour that includes things like the Messiah Volcano and the Messiah Market, and as I was saying earlier, Catherine overlooking the Laguna Pollo and uh, lunch and, and a tour of Granada and, and a boat ride on Lake Nicaragua. Um, so it's really a wonderful time. I hope you'll take advantage of that. Okay, how to reserve, real quickly. Uh, go to this um, link here, 
uh, http colon double forward slash info dot milagro del mar dot com forward slash property packet that's info dot milagro del mar dot com forward slash property packet okay when you do that you're going to be able to see where you can go and how you can go to download both um, all of the property packet information, which has all the floor plans, building plans, inventory, pricing, uh, and otherwise, master plan copies, and so on. And the reservation form, which you simply fill it out, sign it, scan it, and email it back. Um, any questions, very easy. Um, also, if you would include a copy of your passport and driver's license, that's kind of a necessary part of the process, to info at Milagro delmar.com um, and with that um, again there's the info at milagrodelmar.com property packet and the destination tours and our contact information um, and you know bottom line as I said Brian Davis make note of this it's Brian Davis at acuplan.net uh, and he has a website set up that can walk you through a lot of your questions before you reach out to him personally, if you prefer. And uh, Brian, if I'm not mistaken, that's uh, AccuplanSanDiego.com, correct? That is, that is correct. Thank you and, so much. And that's your direct line there? Yep, that's my cell phone. I, uh, I really encourage all of you to... Uh, absolutely uh, take advantage of Brian's expertise Lord knows I've learned of more than a few things uh, and uh, he's also a pretty great guy besides but uh, very very knowledgeable in this space so I, I strongly encourage that you uh, reach out um, and with that uh, let's take a look um, you know for all of you that are on the call if you have to jump off I respect that but we are going to go into some question and answers probably take no more than 10 minutes or so or 15 if you want to hang in some more um, we will send out just as soon as we can turn it around a replay link uh, and um, yet again please feel free to uh, to reach out to us with any questions uh, and um, all of our information as I said is here um, and we uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for taking a, such a significant part of your evening. Um, we hope to see you very soon uh, in Nicaragua at uh, Milagro del Mar. And with that, um, Roger, I don't know, are you still with us? Yeah, Phil, I'm here. And, and I guess I'll, I'll sum it up before we get into Q&A. Um, you know, if you flip back to that Wyndham slide, I, th I think an easy way to sum this whole opportunity up is to say that there's incredible synergy here right now and you can only you can only get a feel for that synergy if you come down visit us join us see it because uh, what what you have coming together here is you have a country that has made it onto the radar uh, the New York Times has recently uh, said that Nicaragua is is uh, the third ranked number three in the places you should visit in 2013. So you've got, you've got the world recognizing what a great place we have here. Then you have Wyndham Hotels and Resorts, the number one hotel company in the world saying, you know what, we want to have our place in Nicaragua. So you, you, you put those two together and you, you put that together with the, with the retirement uh, laws here, the, the tourism growth here, everything everything that's getting thrown into this soup, if you want to call it, I mean, this, this, this is, it's ready to boil. It's ready to be served. It's, it's the right time, uh, the right place with the right product and the right company leading this, and that's Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. And yeah, I'm excited about it. Uh, it you know, we've, we've worked hard to, to bring it all to this point. And we hope that other folks out there can can see w that uh, it's really something to take notice of at this point. And we'll ho we hope that uh, you know some of the folks on this call decide to uh, come down and visit us and, and see what we're so excited about. 
Sure. There are a couple of questions here, Roger. I'll, I'll let you um, uh, handle either both parts or at least the first part. Um, uh, quick question. You know, one thing that we did not touch on, um, clearly this comes from someone familiar with the property, um, but and that is the reality in, in most of Central America that once you get off of main roads, you're very often looking at uh, packed earth roadways. Um, and the question here, uh, because, yeah, we have one into uh, Milagro del Mar for sure, but the question is, when will the um, uh, packed earth roadway to the property be paved? The, right now, we're, as a developer of the property or as the sub-developer of the property, there was a, there was a master developer, uh, or there is a master developer who... Uh, developed this 2,500 acre piece of property and we're, we're a sub-developer of that property. We're, we're going down two paths right now. The, the government, you know, we're, next Thursday night we're about to now announce to the whole world uh, that Wyndham Hotels is coming to this project and we've been working very, very closely behind the scenes with, uh, with the government of Nicaragua. Um, I won't go into great detail there, but I mean, we have worked at every level of the the Nicaraguan government, including the, the office of the president. And um, we believe at this point that within the next few weeks, we are going to be announcing the, the paving of the road. And um, bottom line is that in our agreement with Wyndham Hotels, when, when we open the hotel, that last 11, 12 kilometers of road is going to be paved. So on this call tonight, I can't say that we're starting on the road next week, but I can say that uh, we have to have that road done uh, next year, 2014, and it's either going to be done in conjunction with the government, which is what we believe at this moment, or if not in conjunction with the government, uh, we we have to take the funds from the financing that we have for the hotel and pave the road. Uh, that that sounds. Has, sur surveying has been done on the road, or, or is in process on the road. The actual plans for the con the actual construction documents for the road are in place. Uh, the only thing I don't know at this point is: Are we going to use private funds for that? Or are we going to use public funds for that? Or is it going to be a combination? And that's what we're working on. Gotcha. That's that's great news, though. Very very positive. Um, the other part of the question, uh, which I think I can um, handle, uh, is uh, the caller was interesting interested to know if they can select the month that they want, um, or is it first come first serve? Um, well, a little of both. Uh, but again, this is not timeshare, so you are not, for example, buying the third week of February every year um, it is a you have an ownership interest in a, uh, a collective four three bedroom units um, and uh, we do that so that there's maximum flexibility it is first come first serve so obviously the earlier you can reach out and put in to reserve um, maximum six months in advance um, just to put everybody on a level playing field, um, the better it is for you. Um, but that doesn't mean that it has to be. You'll you will try to pick the time, but if you wait until you know the week before and there's nothing available, um, I think it should be somewhat understandable. Uh, but there there should be ample opportunity for just about everyone participating in the program to have very very uh, open access and usage. Um, moving on, um, and uh, let's see, um, unfortunately it appears that one caller is having trouble hearing <laughs> anything. Well, I hope that when they receive a uh, replay link um, that, uh, that they will in fact be able to uh, uh, catch the entire rebroadcast, and I'm very sorry for any technical issues. Uh, outside our control. Um, and another question, again, to do with the fractional program, wanting to know whether uh, you can rent out whatever portion of the 28 days per year that you choose not to use personally, and the answer is absolutely. Uh, there is I can answer that quickly and say uh, Wyndham 
absolutely hopes that you will. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's part of the program. And uh, and again, you know, I mean, a lot of uh, developers will uh, sometimes take uh, less attractive or or less interesting uh, uh, inventory uh, to create a fractional program. I think it's fair to say in this case we've done just the opposite because the four residences that we've chosen are uh, amongst the best we uh, we have to offer. Um, and uh, I don't know, I, there aren't many places you can find a 2,553 square foot condominium um, in a resort environment that's, you know, 150 yards or so from the beach. Um, okay, let's let's move on. What other questions here do we have? Um, um, that, well, there's a question that asks, do you know if Wyndham uh, will be offering Milagro Del Mar as a timeshare for some of its units in the future? This could make a difference when deciding whether to buy. When, and that's a, a very excellent point. I, I know the answer, but Roger, do you? Uh, I think we've kind of covered this topic, but uh, do you want to answer? Well, it's, it, it is not intended to be a timeshare resort at this point. Um, you, go, you, you go back and you look at the numbers we talked about originally, uh, you know, projecting 500, uh, a 500 bed. Uh, hotel room deficit uh, in the years coming up. Uh, the idea here is to uh, create a residential resort that is uh, being offered as a hotel. And uh, you know we're we're offering timeshare, we're offering uh, individual condominium ownership, and we're offering hotel services. Uh, could it potentially grow in the timeshare offering? Uh, absolutely, it could. But at this point in time. This is not intended to be a timeshare community. Well, um, well said, and um, uh, I, I don't want to um, put my foot in my mouth, my boss in my mouth, because my boss might hear and take me to task. But um, I am not uh, one who embraces timeshare, at least in the context of this particular resort, uh, and uh, and yet. Um, I think it's fair to say that what we are offering is not timeshare. We are offering true fractional ownership. Um, and uh, <laughs> there was, um, uh, I thought it was a question, but in fact it was a very kind uh, greetings from Michigan. Um, Ed from Michigan sends greetings uh, to not only me, but you, Roger, and Brian. Uh, which is very kind. Thank you, Ed. I'm very glad that you could be a part of the, the call this evening. I'm just checking to see if there are any additional questions. Um, and barring that... Well, I'll, I'll send my best back to Ed while you're looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. Anyway, I think that looks to be it. Um, and so with that, I, I want to extend a very very big thank you to any and all that that did take of their evening uh, the time to join us uh, we're very very excited and had a lot of information to share with you this is truly exciting news if for no other reason than it's the first globally branded uh, hospitality resort on Nicaragua's Pacific Coast the very first there is one other resort with the Spanish chain, but it's not really a true global uh, 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 hospitality company. Wyndham uh, coming to Nicaragua's Pacific Coast is a very, very big deal, and we're super excited. We hope you're excited for us. I want to strength uh, or emphasize uh, that there is highly limited availability. Any owners of condos will get first option on the villas which line either side of the terraced resort pool when those are released later this year. Uh, that That is an advantage and there's one other element of that that although you have the opportunity to buy at a discounted price 10% off the list price today 
were you to exercise that option towards one of the villas that you would have credit it's kind of like a forced appreciation you would have credit for the full list price at the time you purchased albeit at a discount as opposed to the discounted price you paid in trading up to one of the villas anyway thank you everyone for being on the call thank you Roger very much uh, I know you've been a little under the weather so I, I hope this didn't uh, exercise your voice uh, too much uh, Brian thank well, I, you I have been I have been under the weather because I've been spending so much time preparing for this big uh, big release next week and you know for everybody on the call tonight uh, as we said the, the you know, we're making the the worldwide announcement next Thursday night you uh, by being on this call you you can go to all your friends and say I already knew about that so uh, it's uh, uh, we're excited for next week and we hope that uh, some of you some of you on the call will uh, will catch that excitement and potentially come down and join us that's super Brian thank you so much for for sharing your expertise with us I hope we can uh, always refer back and call on you with uh, specific questions as as anyone on the call can that would be very much very welcome and thank you guys so much for having me on tonight as well it's been uh, very exciting so on behalf of Brian from San Diego and Roger and me in Managua, thank you all and have a good night, and we'll look forward to welcoming you soon to Nicaragua.